This ladies and gentlemen is a super featherweight contest of six three minute rounds. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks, trimmed with the burgundy. Fighting formerly from Syria, now out of the north of England, weighing in at nine stone, nine and three quarter pounds. Please give a nice welcome to Yusuf Al Hamidi. And his opponent uh, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks, trimmed with white, weighed in at nine stone, uh, seven pound. Ladies and gentlemen, Cumbrans, uh, Jimmy Arthur. Referee in charge of the action, Mr. Graham Wallace, and uh, this is six three minute rounds. Promotion team enjoying their uh, debut evening. We're looking forward to uh, contest number five with uh, Cumbran's Jamie Arthur against uh, Yusuf Al Hamidi. That's right one. Yeah, this should be a great exciting fight. Good test for Jamie Arthur here. Al Hamidi, a very slippery, slippery opponent. Gives all prospects a good fight, a real good, good challenge. Well, it's good to see Jamie Arthur back in the ring rather than uh, commentating ringside as he had to last time when he was out of action with a broken finger. All that uh, mended now. And looking to uh, inflict some damage of his own on the uh, Syrian who fights out of uh, Dewsbury in Yorkshire these days. Yeah, yeah Jamie's actually starting really sharp here. Yeah. Really confident looking there. Boxing well beyond the jab. Arthur, of course, in the uh, gold trunks and struck gold in the Commonwealth Games back in uh, Manchester 2002. Yeah, I was actually... Phenomenal performance by Jamie Arthur to take the gold. I think it would believe it was five fights he had there. I was his team teammate at the game, so I got to see him win the gold there. So his uh, pro career has gone pretty well since then. Just a couple of defeats, a little hiccup mid-career in uh, 2005. And, uh, he's won his last uh, three in a row. Yeah, he had a great win in Newport uh, to win the to win the Welsh title against uh, Murphy's Di Davis, uh, where he won on a knockout to the left hook to the body in the third round. Just uh, easing his way into this. Yeah, very cagey opening here from both fighters. Slightly uh, longer contest this one, six three-minute rounds, so they'll uh, both be keen not to uh, burn themselves out too early. JB looks really confident here though. He's dropping his hands, which I haven't seen him do before. Throwing a nice sharp jab. I think he's just having a real good look here at Hamidi. Hamidi uh, hasn't uh, won too many of his 19 contests today, but he's been in with some good fighters and he's uh, lasted the distance with most of them. Yeah, I've watched him fight some real good names, as in John Murray, the British lightweight champion. We give him hell that night, over eight rounds, and a lot of people actually thought that Hamidi done enough to take the fight. And he also upset the unbeaten career of Anthony Carolla, who's a Manchester fighter who's tipped for big things. It was a real test year for Jamie Arthur. They're uh, looking good, though, looking compact. Yeah, Jamie, have just landed a few, few good right hands there. Best shots of the round. There goes the bell. A satisfactory start for the uh, Welshman. Yeah, very cagey that round from both fighters. I think Jamie was just taking his time to get into the fight and have a look at his opponent. I think you'll see him up, up, the, up the work rate right in this next round now and start to take over. Well, he's uh, ranking among the uh, top ten in Britain at the moment. Jamie Arthur in this division. Rather than trying to chase after him, yeah. you know what I mean? Just be looking to uh, establish his authority over yeah. Al Hamidi. No, just come back. I wonder what they make of it so far. 
Yeah, this is a great stepping stone for Jamie Arthur here. Hopefully to land the shot at a British title sometime later in the year. Looking good. Gone is 10 seconds. Looking very relaxed anyway. Seconds out, round two. Just like to see Jamie op open up here and step up the work rate a bit more, which I think he will do now. Al Hamidi for his part will be out to prove he's not just here to make up the numbers. I think Jamie's looking for that right hand over the top there. Al Hamidi fencing out with that left that left hand. Arthur very quick on his feet. Al Hamidi very slippery there. Jamie come in for the attack and he's moving both ways. Very, very clever. The last fight was uh, a little more explosive. This is really cagey, perhaps more one for the purists so far. Good shot there from uh, Arthur. Yeah, no sharp jabs there, just the jolt the head back there. Those shots. In a fight like this, those shots are going to tell with the referee because there's not a lot happening at the moment. Alphamidi trying to work to the body from uh, close quarters. Good combination punching there from Jamie. And Arthur, I think, will want to keep his man at uh, arm's length wherever possible. That's where he appears to have an advantage. Oh, that was a great left hook there from Jamie Alpha. He just faked the jab and turned it over with the left hook. Great shot. Alphamidi coming back himself, though. Yeah, after throwing perhaps his uh, best punch so far, Arthur just found himself caught in his own corner for a moment. Yeah, perhaps admired his work a little bit too much there. Trying to get the jab through the defences again where he can. Just sticking that sharp jab out there. Yeah. <coughs> Trying to take control of the fight here, Jamie. He's got to uh, keep his gloves up. Might find that a bit more difficult the longer the fight goes on, but yeah, I'd just like to see him get that left hand up a little bit higher. It's wide open there, Jamie. Good left up yeah, to the body. Loading. Great shots. coming back there with two shots of his own. Yeah, proving he can uh, counter-punch the Syrian. Yeah, very, very slippery guy. Very, very clever boxer. Oh, good jab there from Alphamidi. Jamie retaliating straight away. It's a, a very different contest to the ones that have gone before. But it's uh, intriguing nonetheless. Fight. It's a novice fight now. Yeah, I think it's a four round novice I fight. think Jamie done enough to okay. nick that round then. Not a lot happening doing still. Well, you step off, but you can see him coming. Yeah. Every time he lunges, wait for him. Every now and then Al Hamidi just stands down. Uh, a counter punch two though. Two, you go into him, you walk in with a double jab, you dip to the body, you throw the right hand over Fingered the, the jab, turned it into a left hook, lovely there. That's a okay. cracking shot. Corners, that one around for me with that, that left hook. <laughs> yeah, Four rounds to that go. was it. It's left hook to the, to the head and the body there. Now, Just a bit of variation in his work there, Jamie. You give two rounds away, but you've got everything. Bonus 10 seconds. Our yeah. first outing of this year for Jamie Arthur. But he'll be hoping Same for time. bigger things Round to come three. later on in 2009. All, of course, assuming that he can put away Al Hamidi this evening. Yeah, I think Jamie's going to up the work rate a bit more now. I think the corner have told him. Just establish a bit more with the jab. Double the jab, Jamie. Set yourself up. Double the jab. Set yourself up. Shakes from the crowd coming to double the jab. Just to set up the attack for Arthur. A few bit of footwork there from uh, Al Hamidi. Double in the 
Oh, they're just trying to uh, bide his time for the opening. And Jamie trying to work off the back foot here to the start of the round. Just establish his boxing. It's already a lovely move uh, from Jamie out for there. Al Hamidi's got a bit of stickability about him. Great move in there from Jamie Alpha. Showing a lot of class here tonight. Looking really sharp. Shout it's still to uh, double it up if possible. Yeah, I'd just like to see him set the, the tack up with a, with a double jab and, and come in behind the come in behind that then with the combinations. And that's what the crowd want to see as well. Hamidi working to the body once more. Lovely. There we are, off the jab every time. Yeah, that was better from Arthur, really uh, drove his man back. Stalking now, Hamidi there now. Looking for that big right hand over the top now, Gene. Looks to be a little bit of a swelling under the right eye of Jamie Alpha. Good combinations here from Jamie. But again, Al Hamidi is very slippery, very cagey fighter. Just like to see Jamie fold that right hand over the top a bit more. Tried to uh, land a big punch there, Arthur, but it's really hit home. Jamie's starting to work the front foot a bit more now towards the end of the round. Every now and then you get a flurry from Al Hamidi and then it's Arthur dictating once more as he is towards the end of the round but Al Hamidi comes back again. Yeah, you get the odd burst from Al Hamidi and then he goes on the back foot again. Yeah, that's another good round for Jamie Arthur. I got him in front now, Jamie Arthur. Yeah, Tony Bogue in the corner there working on that eye. Just getting the iron on there, I think, just to take the swelling down a little bit. He's taken a blow below the right eye and also one high on the left cheek there, which there to stem the blood. Yeah, I think it's just a little nick. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to worry about in that there. sort of area anyway, as, uh, as around the eyes. Okay. Yeah, nothing to worry about there. Yeah. Al Hamidi looks pretty calm though at the moment. I think Al Hamidi's corner have just said come out and, and take control of the fight. So just uh, beyond the halfway mark, round four of six. Shot. Right. Good right hand there from Jamie Arthur. Arthur with uh, real just intent. Just faked it and then come in with it, stepped in with it. He's just hunting the man down now. Right. Right. Referee didn't like that. Two shots to the back of the head. Got a right ticking off there, Jamie. <laughs> Grant Wallace uh, in his ear there. Oh. Arthur just trying to get to work behind that jab once more. left up to the body there from Jamie Arthur. <laughs> He's just picking the, the odd shots out here and there which are telling more for me. Al Hamidi not doing no real real work to threaten Jamie. Yeah, 
Jamie back on the jab there. Shouts from the crowd coming back on the jab, Jamie. Just what I'd like to see him double that jab and step in behind it. Arthur put those uh, injury problems behind him with a win in November at the uh, Cafe Royal in London. Just to prove there were no lasting effects from that uh, hand injury. Yeah, I believe he got a, a good points win over Steve Geffen, who's a tough, durable fighter as well. Four of his uh, 12 wins to date as a pro have come inside the distance, but uh, Al Hamidi's shown that he's prepared to go the distance tonight. Yeah, Al Hamidi trying to rough Jamie up here a bit now. Inside, pushed him back there a bit and let a few go to the body. Jump shield goes flying. Jamie Arthur's gum shield just come loose there. Uh, protection in place, the uh, contest can resume. Just approaching the end of the uh, fourth. Arthur probably ahead at the moment, but not comfortably so yet. Jamie Arthur. A nice little left hook inside there to the body. End of the fourth then, it appears to be going Jamie Arthur's way, but uh, certainly not steamrolling his man. Well, keeping this down, Jamie, we don't want to go for the corner. Uh, are working on uh, the eye area. How many rounds are there? They said six. Yeah. It's a six or eight. It's only a six round, right? Eight Keep round, the right? swelling down six. if they can. Yeah, Jamie okay. just asked him in yeah, the corner when, when there, how many rounds is it? Oh, it's a bit hard to manage. I don't know what. My only answer is... Listen, just take over a bit now. Be the boss in it. You're not feeling enough shots. Okay. Yeah, there's a lovely right hand over the top there. Pick that one nice. Just little shots like that during the round, I think, is stealing it for Jamie. Because other than that, there's not a lot happening. And you're him. He's certainly showing the more aggressive intent, Jamie Arthur. Tony Borg urging him now to get up, pick his work rate up a bit more. Jamie starting fast there behind the jab. It'd be nice to see him step up the work rate here now. And and just, just take control of this fight a bit better. Well, certainly if he has uh, ambitions to uh, step up in class, maybe just needs to show one or two more shots from his repertoire. Jamie just targeting the right up to the body there. Al Hamidi's corner urging him to come forward and take the fight with Jamie now. Arthur, of course, uh, a scaffolder for uh, becoming a professional boxer. He's, he's built the platform here. He's got to go on now and finish the job. Al Hamidi is certainly durable. As I say, uh, Midi is a is a real good test for any any young prospect. He's been in with the likes of John Murray, the British champion, the lightweight. And he take the took the unbeaten record of Andy Carolla, so he's a good fighter. I've seen him a few times on Sky, and he always gives a good account of himself. Just trying to mess Jamie about a bit here now on the move. Although trying to stick to his guns. Yeah, good head movement there from Jamie. I'd like to see him just open up a little bit more now, though. Right. Bit of a cut on Jamie, Jamie's forehead there. Or just above his left eyebrow. So he's certainly not uh, where getting the heads through this unscarred. Together. 
It's nothing to worry about though, it's just just a little graze, I think. Still in control, Jamie. So looking for a, a strong end to round five. Lady still uh, finding the energy to come forward on occasions. Yeah, in, in spurts he comes and he tries to rough Jamie up on the inside. The heads come together there, Coach there now. It's just getting a little uh, untidy towards the end of that round, which is probably more in uh, Al Hamidi's favour than Arthur's. Yeah, both fighters looked a little bit tired as they sat down on the stool there then at the end of that round. Okay. Go on, deep Let's have everything out here, you say. Okay. Twos and threes, combinations, just go out there and have a real good time. Okay? Joe and Enzo, looking Not on. First time you team, you know what I mean? Let's go and have a go then. Come on, last round, have a tail. All's uh, calm in Al Hamidi's corner at the moment. Pause 10 seconds. Second Got his feet ready for the uh, final round. Hamidi's corner was just urging him to up the work rate there. I think they can. be uh, something of a shock if uh, Al Hamidi were to uh, come here almost into uh, Jamie Arthur's backyard and nick it but uh, Jamie Arthur won't be entertaining anything like those thoughts at this moment. No I think Jamie's in control in the fight um, there's not a lot, a lot happening there from Hamidi he just... Hamidi not the uh, kind of fighter according to Good his record right who uh, knocks Jamie people Arthur. out I picked either. that shot lovely certainly looks as though it's Arthur who's uh, coming on strong in this final round. Yeah, he's up the work rate here just to put any doubts away, I think, for the referee. Boxing really well, Jamie. Oh, lovely shots there from Jamie. Just looking really relaxed. This looks as though he was uh, looking round the corner for a minute there, Arthur, to uh, work out the best angle of attack, and he certainly got the punch home. And then Hamidi tacks in spurts and pushed Jamie back then. Shots of encouragement from the crowd. They just want to see Arthur uh, really open out in these closing stages. Yeah, the crowd getting behind Jamie now, which I think they will a bit now towards the end of the round. Jamie's still with a higher work rate in this round now. Oh, there's a nasty head clash there then. Word from the referee to uh, oh, both great men right hand from Jamie yeah. Step all right and again. it up as well. Double right hand, straight. Straight through the middle of the guard there from Jamie. Cracking shot. Maybe took advantage of the slight lull as the referee had a word with him and he really came uh, back strongly there, Jamie Arthur. Meady trying to mess Jamie about a bit in there again, uh, rough him up. No doubt that Arthur has landed the big shots in this round. Jamie still trying to work inside there. Meady holding on a bit. Still trying to uh, work Hamidi. away to the body, Al Hamidi. Yeah, a good little spurt there from him. Right. Yeah, Jamie, Job done, Arthur. Jamie Arthur. Comfortable little points win there. Well received by the uh, Welsh boxing fans. 
Doesn't look as though it's uh, taken too much out of Jamie Arthur, but nonetheless, a good workout for him tonight. Tough opponent. And a lovely right hand. Yeah. Certainly the big scoring shots in that round came from Jamie Arthur. Yeah, it's a great win for Jamie Arthur. A great step in Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee scorecard at the end of uh, six rounds reads uh, Yusuf al Halmini. 56 points, Jamie Arthur, 59 points, the winner, Jamie Arthur got it by two rounds, Jamie Arthur! Good fight, good test for Jamie 